everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adriana Romano, and today I'm going to be taking you through a small grocery haul at Aldi. But before we do that, I'm gonna make sure I do inventory of my kitchen, which that includes the refrigerator, the pantry, and the freezer. So it's super important that you check your freezer, you check your pantry, and you check your refrigerator to make sure you don't overbuy at the grocery store. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'm gonna sit down and write exactly my grocery needs so I can stick to my plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you through that process, and I will as well as eat a little breakfast so my stomach is not empty because when your stomach is empty and you're hungry, you tend to overbuy so many things at the grocery store. So come with me as I do my grocery shop. And if you can, please just take a moment to click on the subscribe button and click on the bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I would appreciate it so much. All right, come on. So I organized a refrigerator this morning and I, on the door, keep my butter and my cream cheese there. I also keep my milk, my condiments like ketchup, mayo, mustard, all that kind of stuff, my pickles, and I have two wine bottles down there. So that's what I keep for the door. So here is the inside of my refrigerator, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that I have. So on the first level right here, I actually keep my leftovers. So last night I made some shredded beef, so I have that there. And then the night before I actually made some sliders, which we have a few left. And then I have half of an avocado and some yogurt. I do have some baking soda over here. I do keep it in my refrigerator and in my freezer to make sure that there's no smell in the refrigerator. The baking soda actually captures the smell and makes the refrigerator smell good. And you do wanna change it every few weeks. Right there, I also have something else, which is a little trick, that it's grinded up coffee beans and it actually makes your refrigerator smell really good as well. It captures all the bad smell and you wanna change these grinded up coffee beans every few days as well. So on the second level right now, I do have some juices. I have sauerkraut, which I've been eating a lot. This is a German style sauerkraut from Aldi. It is delicious. I also have some artichoke hearts, which I love to put into my salads. And I have queso. I've been making some really good nachos with this queso. And then right behind it, I made some homemade tomato soup, which we ate last night. So I will be eating it probably today for lunch. And then in this drawer, I have my eggs, my cheese. I do have mozzarella, goat cheese, feta cheese right now. And I have mascarpone as well. And then I have my cheese sticks. I love to snack on these. I will probably be purchasing a few more because I want to make sure they last all week. And then I have my American cheese. I have some hot dogs and some deli meat. And then these two bottom drawers are my fruits and veggies. So on this side are my fruits. I do add the limes in there as well. I have a few plums, some kiwis, and some passion fruit. And then on the left-hand side, I have some lettuce at the bottom. I have avocado, ginger. I have red onion. I have parsnips, which I've been using a lot. I have garlic, tomatoes, and cherry tomatoes. So as you can see, I have a lot of stuff. What I do need is some freezer stuff and some meats to last me throughout the week. Let me go ahead and show you my freezer. And then here I have my freezer. So on the left hand side, I have some meats, which I have some spicy sausage. I have ground chicken and ground beef. On the back, I do have some cooked shrimp. We don't eat shrimp that much, but we do have a bag just in case. And then in the middle, I do have some rice cauliflower, some frozen berries, some cauliflower and green beans in the back. And then right here on the right hand side, I have some frozen spinach. I have two bags of that. We've been putting that a lot in smoothies and in juices. So I always stock up on spinach. Right here at the bottom, I do have on this hand side, I have some frozen fruits that I cut up and I washed. It was about to go bad in the refrigerator, so I didn't want it to go to waste. So I just washed them, cut them, and I am freezing them for either smoothies or we're just gonna go ahead and enjoy them frozen. And then in the middle, I do have a pack of ice. And on the right hand side, I do have some bread and I didn't want it to go bad. So I added it into the freezer because it's really easy to just take it out and heat it up in the oven. So on the door part, I do have some plantains. I have some ice packs just in case. And I have my baking soda right back there. And on the bottom shelf, I do have my smart sweets. I love the peach rings. And yes, I do like my gummies frozen. Kind of weird, but I like it. 
And then at the bottom, I do have some chocolate chips. I have some semi-sweet chocolate chips and white chocolate chips, as well as a bunch of chocolate. My boyfriend loves to snack on chocolate and the higher the percentage, the better. So he definitely loves dark chocolate. So now it's time for me to enjoy some yogurt before I head to the grocery store. So now I'm walking over and sitting down and opening up my budgeting planner. I like to go ahead and write down all my meal planning for the week. So I write down my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner, and a few snacks that I will be having. I leave some of the boxes blank because I do know that I will probably be eating out or going to a restaurant on the weekend. So some boxes I do leave blank. And then I go over to the right hand side and write down my grocery list. And it's important for me to tell you guys that it doesn't have to be exactly every day that you're going to be eating these things but at least having a plan then you know what to buy for the grocery store so you can mix and match so like on monday i'll probably like not eat exactly what i wrote but at least i know that i'm going to be consuming all these meals throughout this week and then right here for my shopping list i am now checking that i did inventory of my kitchen and i am not hungry because i just ate my yogurt I'm done with my inventory. I'm done writing down my meal plan and my grocery list and I ate my breakfast So now I'm ready to go to Aldi with you guys. I have my cash envelope right here I have $50 so I'm going to try to stay under that. I'm probably gonna just do a mini little haul I just need a few meats and a few fruits and some eggs. So come along with me to Aldi grabbing my mask And my keys So I just got to Aldi. I'm sitting in the car to review everything on my list. I took a picture of it. So now I know exactly where to go to get all my stuff. So I just wanted to let you guys know how important it is for me to just grab healthy meals and food. I fill my house with a lot of fruits, vegetables, and meats. And it's so important to know that if your house has a bunch of healthy foods, you're most likely going to be snacking on those healthy meals instead of grabbing the junk food. So at the grocery store, try your hardest, again, not to go hungry so you don't go through the junk aisle, and try just to get very healthy food and don't grab junk food because if there's junk food in your house, you will eat it. So I'm gonna go into Aldi, I'm gonna go put my mask on, and I'll show you guys when I get home everything that I got. I'm back from Aldi, I only spent about $46. So let me show you guys everything that I got. I got a dozen eggs. I got grass-fed butter, which this is the Irish butter. I got one pack of the grass-fed ground beef. I got some barbecue sauce so that I can make my shredded barbecue chicken. I got some asparagus. I love to roast these in the oven. I add a little bit of garlic, lemon, and olive oil and salt and pepper, and they're delicious. I grab my chicken breast tenderloin so I can be making my keto chicken tenders. If you missed out on that video, I'll go ahead and post it right here so you guys can try it out. It's so delicious and it only has about two grams of net carbs. I grab some chicken thighs as well. For my chicken thighs, I love to make different kinds. I like to make a teriyaki garlic chicken thigh in the oven. That's probably one of my favorites. But I also make another one that is a garlic lemon buttery chicken, which I'll probably be making this week. So this one has six pieces and I will probably be using this for two different dishes. Then I got this flatbread. This flatbread only has 12 grams of carbs and it has seven grams of protein. So, and only 90 calories. So I love making some flatbread pizzas with this. I do have everything that I need at home. So I'm excited to be making this throughout the week. I found this bread at Aldi and I had to grab it. It's new. It is a protein bread and it only has four grams of net carbs and it has nine grams of protein. So I've been getting the keto bread that has zero net carbs and it's good, but this one looks really good actually. It has, it's plant-based as well and it has some like sesame seeds around it. So let me know if you guys have tried this in the comments below. This is the first time I actually found this at Aldi. So I'll let you guys know how I enjoy it. I got a yogurt, the Too Good yogurt. This only has 80 calories. It only has three grams of carbs 
and it only has two grams of sugar. So I tried this last week and I really enjoyed it. So I grabbed one more for this week. I grabbed some papaya. So in a few days, this should ripen up and it'll be ready to eat. I grabbed green onions. This was only like 30 cents for this whole bag. I grabbed some shredded cheese. Like I said, I love snacking on cheese. So I've been putting this on my eggs or on my tortillas. I got this ricotta cheese so I can put it with my flatbread as well to make some pizza. I grabbed one mango to make a fruit salad with all the fruits that I have. I grabbed this bite-sized dry salami. I tried this last time, but it wasn't bite-sized. It was a little bit bigger and it was really good. So it's a spicy salami and this is really good just to snack on. And it has eight grams of protein, has 100 calories. So I'm excited to try the bite size out. Then of course I got some mozzarella cheese. I've been loving my mozzarella capri salad. If you guys missed out on that video as well, I'll go ahead and post it here so you guys can make the best capri salad ever. I got some sweet little mini peppers. I've been roasting these as well. I got some cheese sticks. I needed a paprika seasoning and I found this about 60 cents. I got some peaches, which they've been coming in a bag of seven. So they're really, really good. And this was only $2. And I got a big bag of gala apples. So here's my grocery haul for this week. So like I mentioned, I try to fill my pantry, my refrigerator, and my freezer with healthy foods so I can snack on and eat very healthy throughout the week. So I will be doing a what I eat in a day video. Stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and click on the bell so you get notified as soon as that video comes out. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what videos you guys would like to see next. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.